Hi, I am making this video because my igniter that I installed three years ago didn't last more than three years and I bought a new igniter. This time I went with the Bosch brand and this is the video showing how I put it into the oven. First thing is to remove the door from the oven by opening the oven door and pulling down on these tabs to unlatch it. The oven door is very heavy. It has glass, so the manual recommends lifting it from the sides and not from the handle when removing it. The bottom plate of the oven will have to be removed you'll have to find those two screws located in the back. And this is the oven once the plate has been removed. The igniter is indicated here. To avoid the risk of any electric shock, I unplugged my oven. There are a lot of torque screws in the back plate, so I highly recommend purchasing a T20 torque screw drill bit instead of trying to use any other tool uh, and do this by hand, which is what I did three years ago. And this time it went much quicker. And this is the exposed back side of the oven. The green board there is the control board. And we are looking for the connection to the bake oven igniter so that I can disconnect it and replace it with a new one. That's it. In order to pull the bad igniter's cables in through the oven cavity, I have to remove this box plate by unfastening one more torque screw. While my assumption is that the igniter in the oven has gone bad, I wanted to check it just to be sure, so I purchased a digital multimeter and tested the continuity on the old igniter and here you can see there's no read there's no continuity so yes the igniter has gone bad and before i put in the new igniter i decided to check and make sure it was functioning so i put it to the multimeter to check it for its continuity I see that the new igniter has continuity, so I feel comfortable with installing it into the oven. Almost there. Two more Torx screws to unfasten, and then I can pull the igniter out. This is the bad igniter that lasted three years. I put in the new igniter by just reversing these steps and tested the oven. And yay, the oven is preheating, the temperature is rising, and there's a nice glow at the bottom of the oven. If you're interested in seeing how I put the oven back together, you can review my video from three years ago on how I did that. 